Oh, that hasn't come back. Hi, I'm Elsa and today I'm going to be reacting to my first year uni results. I study sociology and for first year I was at the University of Sussex. These results are pretty important to me because I'm actually going to be transferring to the University of Leeds. So I need a 2-1 at least in first year to be able to transfer. So my average for first semester was a 2-1, I think it was about a 66%. I already got one essay back this semester which actually counts to my grade and that was a 65. I'm sitting pretty firmly in like a mid to high 2-1 which I'm very happy with. And just quickly, if you don't know anything about the UK grading system, I barely do either. It's so confusing but I'm going to try to give a brief synopsis. Instead of getting grades like A to D or like pass, fail, whatever, in the UK there's like degree classifications. So a pass, I believe, is a 40% to 59%, so that's counted as a third class. Then there is a 2-2, which is 50 to 59%. Then there is a 2-1, which is 60 to 69%. And so these are both second class degrees. And then there is a first or first class, which is 70 and above. Honestly, I don't really know how to compare this to the letter grades. If anyone knows how you can compare it to the letter grades, please let me know down below. All right, so now onto my grades. My first grade I got back was from my elective module. This was in the School of Education and it is called Cross-Cultural Perspectives on Education. So just reading a bit from my Canvas page, this module is basically about informal and formal education systems, critically engaging with educational literature and reflecting on our own educational experiences in regard to literature. So I really enjoyed this module, I thought it was so nice. I'm particularly interested in the sociology of education, so taking a straight education module was so fun for me. The assignment for this module was an education diary or education log. Hi, so I was just about to film a whole video and uh, one of my essays was graded. So, I've just got my laptop here. <laughs> so I got an email, so I got an email from my teacher saying it was graded, but it's not graded yet, apparently, or at least it hasn't shown up yet. So, um, I'll probably check back in like half an hour. So grades didn't show up yesterday, so I'm just filming to check again in case they finally showed up. Not yet graded, not yet graded. All right, now on the uni website. Oh, okay, so something has been released. Awesome, so I <laughs> I got a 66, which is a 2-1. I'll come back once I've read some of the comments. So it all looks good, lots of strengths, a lot of the weaknesses were um, some specific bibliography things um, and I think I was like 30 words over the word limit, so yeah. So I ended up getting a 66 for this. Um, I always feel like I tend to do lower in elective modules because I'm trained, if you will, to write sociology essays and my set of knowledge is in sociology and also there's little differences like um, bibliography styles. They both use Harvard but it's like they like things slightly different and you know, different styles of writing. But yeah, overall super happy with that. The next module I got back is called Making the Familiar Strange. This is a sociology module, one of my core modules, and it is basically about looking at things we take for granted and how different theories of sociology make things strange. Marx is looking critically at class instead of just accepting it, or phenomenologists looking at our everyday life and looking at how social rules are constructed. I think I spoke about this in my reaction clip. I was a bit annoyed with the assessment for this. It was originally one 2,000 word essay, which totally fine, I can do that easily, but they ended up swapping it to two 1,000 word essays. And in my opinion, that's not equal. It's to write one train of thought for 2,000 words is much easier than writing two trains of thought for 1,000 words. My first essay was on sociology being neutral and value free and I absolutely love arguing about this, I have lots of opinions on that. And then my next essay for this assignment was on queer theory and what it is. <sighs> so I've just got an email saying I have a, another grade. Cool, on to Canvas, modules, assignments, oh! Awesome, so I've got a first in that one. Super happy with that. So I got a 71, which obviously a 70 is a first, so it's like a low first, but I'm, I'm really happy with that. Okay, good feedback on the first essay. Okay, second essay. Awesome, so really good comments about like my referencing and stuff. I'm super happy with that. And yeah, that's half my grades back, two more to go. <laughs> so yeah, I got a first for this, which I am so happy with. So then the next subject I got back is called Gendering the Life Course. This is another core subject. 
and I actually lost the footage of me recording this. For some reason, our final grade came back so much later than when we originally got the grades back. So I first got the grade back from this almost a month ago. So when I was deleting footage for something else, this one got lost with it. So as it says in the title, this module was all about gender and gender at different stages in the life course. And I really enjoyed this module, I thought it was really cool. And my assignment was a 3000 word essay. The essay title I chose was Critically discuss how gender is produced by patriarchy, capitalism and colonialism. So I got a 67 for this, which I was super happy with. Um, obviously not my highest, I kind of thought I was going to get a first because I had such a good feeling about it. But obviously a 67 is so good and I have absolutely no complaints. Again, like I am aiming for a first, but this is first year and we had so much disrupted. Half of these subjects I wasn't even taught on, I just read it myself. Because of corona everything was so messed up, so I am entirely happy with 2-1. Oh god, I feel so terrible. I've just opened up my phone and one boy accidentally emailed all of sociology to say he hasn't passed instead of just the course convener. And then the final grade I got back. This module is a core module for sociology and it is called Themes and Perspectives 2. So it looked at all the key concepts within sociology, class, religion, race, all that. So I wasn't reacting to the first essay I did, I was reacting to my overall grade. But my first essay was titled critically assess the claim that class is no longer a socially important issue for sociologists to study in the current day. I'm really interested in postmodernism, death of class, all that. So I ended up getting a 65 on that, which is a 2-1. All right, so these should be my final results. I'm waiting on one last module, but this should be the full result, if I'm not wrong. My Wi-Fi is taking a minute. Gosh, that's the wrong semester. I just got all happy and it was, wasn't even the right semester. Oh, ah, <laughs> awesome. I got a 67, which is a 2-1. Um, I'm just gonna go onto Canvas. Great. <laughs> it's just such a relief because now I know, I think my average is like a high 2-1, which is so great. I'm just gonna go onto Canvas to see if there's any actual like feedback. I actually didn't quite see this. I thought I got a 66, which was actually my overall grade for the module. I actually got a 68, which I'm super happy with. So that is my second highest grade. And that essay was titled, How does the experience of cosmopolitanism... <laughs> cosmopolitanism. How does the experience of cosmopolitanism intersect with class and race? So I thought that was so interesting. I hadn't really looked at cosmopolitanism before. It's sort of a concept that I knew existed, but I didn't know enough about it, but it's super interesting. And I was definitely super excited to study it. I actually just got the feedback now, so let's read a bit of that. There's a key theme for having to improve if I try to fit too much into an essay because I just researched so much. But then again, also the first line of my comments is, this is a very well researched essay that draws an impressive range of literature because I love reading about an area. I would never write an essay that I've only read five academic articles on. But I think my main area for improvement that I have to focus on in second year is having a mix of breadth and depth. Feedback hasn't come back, but um, yeah, so I know the overall grade, which is, which is good, so I can... I think that's really, really great. But yeah, those are my first year results. So I'm averaging a 2-1. I'm just gonna add up the grades quickly and see what my percentage average is. So my average is a 67.5, which is a high 2-1. I am just so happy. Obviously I'm aiming for a first. I feel like as someone who's interested in academics, I'm always going to be aiming for a first, but with Corona and everything going on and how disruptive my term was with strikes and the pandemic, I literally haven't been taught on so many of these subjects. So to get a high 2-1 average for first year, I am so happy with. And that also means I can send off my grades to Leeds and I'm into Leeds. So yeah, I'm just so happy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like uni lifestyle content like this, please let me know by liking and commenting down below. And if you'd like to see more of me, I'd absolutely love it if you subscribed. So yeah, thank you so much again for watching.